Hi, I'm Kellen O'Connell with CDL Wisconsin Ross Sugarbush. Today we're going to do a short video on how to install an 8 inch membrane into an 8 inch CDL column. Uh, we're going to need a few different tools to do this. Well, the first thing we're going to need is an inch and 16th socket wrench or a large crescent wrench. We're also going to need a 3 16th Allen wrench. We have a T handle here. We're going to need a flathead screwdriver and a rubber mallet. Finally, we're going to need some grease, Dowel 111 grease. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our U-cup. Our U-cup is a grooved O-ring basically that has a V-channel on one side and is flat on the other side. On CDL RO machines, a lot of membranes will have a directional flow arrow drawn on them. This particular membrane doesn't have that arrow drawn on it, and in this circumstance it doesn't matter which way the directional arrow points. The one thing that you do want to do though is make note which side you have on top and which side you have on bottom year to year and try to rotate those. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our U-cup on with the grooved side facing up. So we're going to be standing over the top of it and we're going to have the grooved side facing up. And that one went on pretty smooth, but sometimes you might need to take your flathead screwdriver and help work its way around just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and sits in there well. Once we get our U-cup onto the membrane, we're going to use our Dowel 111 grease to lubricate the U-cup. This is a food grade O-ring grease. As long as we have our Dow 111 out, we're going to lubricate the O-rings on the plug, on the permeate plug. So we'll put a little on there. And then we'll put that in the hole as well. Finally, we have our stainless plate cap adapter, which adapts the membrane down to the submersible pump, your recirculation pump in the post. We're going to put that on the membrane by using our flathead screwdriver. So you will start that, and you're gonna take your screwdriver, and you're just gonna work your way around to make sure that none of your U-cup is pinched. It'll set right on. So that brings us to putting the membrane into the post. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen our nuts on the top here. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off. then we're going to remove the cap. So the cap has an o-ring that sits in here so you might need your rubber mallet to tap that out. All right and remove the remove the cap. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually put the membrane into the post. This is going to be a two-person job. So Eric's going to give me a hand here. He's going to tip the post down. The stainless cap adapter and everything goes in first, so that goes to the bottom. So I'm going to pick this membrane up. Put it down into the post. And then once I do that, I'm going to take it, just kind of push on it, turn it a little bit, make sure that that stainless cap didn't fall off when we were putting it in the post. You're not going to feel it seat necessarily, but you'll definitely know if it's binding. So once we get the membrane into the post, the next thing we want to do is put the cap back on. To do this, there's going to be another um, plate, stainless plate here with some Allen head screws. You can see here, that's pretty close to this big flat plate on the top. What you want to do is you want to loosen these screws up a little ways. So I'm going to take my Allen wrench and loosen these up a little bit. And you want to loosen them to the same level, or same distance. over take your rubber mallet and just give it a tap 
That then pushed this out, so there's a little bit of a gap there. So now we're gonna set this plate back into the membrane. This adapting piece is gonna sit in the center. Line up our rods. Just snug it in there. And then we'll put our nuts back on. Use our inch and sixteenth socket, and we're just gonna snug them up. You don't need to crank on these; you don't need to torque them because there's that O-ring that seals it. So just snug them up. Once your nuts are snug on the top of the post, you're going to want to go back to these Allen head screws and you're going to want to tighten these up a little bit. So the more you tighten these, they're just going to keep going down and down. These again, you just want to snug up to make sure that your adapter doesn't pop out of your membrane under pressure because there can be up to 500 PSI inside this post. So we're going to snug that up, still leaving a gap, enough where we can almost get our 3 16 Allen head into there. There's no real set distance, but just a nice comfortable distance. These are all snug. Once those are snug, you're ready to go. So this is how to put an eight inch membrane into a CDL reverse osmosis column. Um, for more questions, visit our website at www.rothsugarbush.com.